Hey everybody, Matt from Eastwood. When you're starting on a project, one of the first things you need to decide on are what wheels and tires you're going to run. Today I have a set of Swap Meet Find 1940 Ford wheels that have years of paint, abuse, and rust on them. I'm going to show you guys today how to take them from this finish all the way to a custom powder coated finish. So let's get started. Blasting is going to be the best way to get the wheels 100% clean and rust free. I'm using our large abrasive blast cabinet with silicone carbide blast media. Abrasive blasting is great before you paint or powder coat because it cleans all coatings off and it leaves a profile on the surface that promotes powder adhesion. Alright guys, so let's check in on the wheel project. I got the uh, second set of wheels blasted. They look really good. They're nice and clean. Just took a little bit of time to get in all the nooks and crannies to get it nice and clean and ready for powder. What I'm going to do on the other two wheels is show you an alternative method. Now what you can use is our down to metal stripper. Now if you don't have a blast cabinet to use at all, you can use just a down to metal stripper. It's going to soften the paint up where you can scrape it all off and basically neutralize it with one of our products. The other thing you can do with this is you can use this product in conjunction with the blast cabinet. This will get through most of the layers of the paint really quickly and then you can clean it up with the blast cabinet to get it all looking just like the other two wheels. So I'm going to work on getting these all set and then we'll be ready for powder. Down the metal paint and powder stripper is a good alternative to blasting if you don't have a blaster. It also is good if you have many layers of paint that could clog your blast cabinet. I brushed it on the wheel wherever I wanted to remove the old paint and I let it sit for about 10 minutes before I started scraping the wheel. I used a piece of aluminum for a scraper and began removing layers and layers of paint. I applied a second coat once I finished scraping the wheel to remove any stubborn material that I may have missed the first time. The second wheel had more paint on it so I applied a slightly heavier coat and let it sit for a few more minutes. The paint got so soft that I was able to use chassis clean and a rag to wipe off the paint without any scraping. Once I got the wheels totally stripped, I used the blast cabinet to remove the rust on the back of the wheel and profile the metal for coating. Once all the wheels were blasted, I wiped them down with pre-paint prep to get the surface as clean as possible. These old wheels have seen years of abuse and have some crevices that can be hard to flow powder into. So I'm going to be hot flocking these wheels to make sure that the powder sticks correctly. I pre-baked the wheel till they got to 450 degrees and spray the powder while the wheel is still hot. My first coat is with gloss white hot coat powder. When hot flocking the powder, it will stick as soon as it hits the surface and will actually begin to flow out as you're spraying. I sprayed the whole back side of the wheel first because our oven isn't big enough to do the whole wheel at once. I placed the wheel in the oven for about 7 to 10 minutes at 450 degrees to make sure the powder completely flows out. I then pulled the wheel out of the oven and sprayed clear coat over the float out white powder while it was still hot. When hot flocking clear coat, be mindful that you don't spray it on too thick as the powder could actually run or discolor once it fully flows out. Once I finished spraying the clear coat, I placed the wheel back in the oven to do a full bake. I baked it at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. Once the back side of the wheel was cured, I pulled it out of the oven and flipped it over to do the face of the wheel. The process is the same as the back side. I sprayed the white powder on while the wheel was still hot. After the white powder was sprayed, I placed it in the oven for another 7 to 10 minutes until it fully flowed out. I then pulled it out again and sprayed on the clear. I made sure to cover the whole face with clear, then placed it back in the oven to fully bake at 375 degrees for 15 minutes. All right, after a lot of work, these wheels turned out amazing. I can't believe that these are the same wheels that we started out with. Now the Cosmic Clear with the gloss white gives a nice subtle custom finish. And when you put the lights on the wheels, they really pop. I can't wait to get them on the car. Now in this particular project, we did multiple coats to get the custom finish that we were looking for. But you can do anything from single to multiple coats and small parts to large parts with no problem at all. To see all the products that we used in this video and all of our powder coating supplies, make sure you visit eastwood.com.